Everybody, it's been a while, but I have something real special today. And um, sorry, it's taken me a while to come back, but um, I had some things that I needed to take care of. Um, and I have something wonderful for you today. Um, I want to share my my vegetable soup. Um, this is a vegetarian dish, so. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of vegetables in a vegetarian broth, and and I hope you enjoy it. And I can't wait to show it because it's one of my favorites when I'm not feeling so good, and I haven't been feeling good. And this is like a pick me up, nutritional. It'll get in your system. If you eat this all week, I guarantee you, you'll lose some weight. And you'll feel a lot better. You'll have a clarity, and you'll feel so good about um, your your health. And um, I've been using a lot of butter and <laughs> a lot of meats. And I thought, okay, let's give it a break and let's do something vegetarian. And I'm um, getting too happy with the butter stuff. Okay. So um, first, I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we'll get started. So I'm going to heat up my skillet here, and I have some beautifully, um, I've already chopped up about, oh, I'd say about a good um, pound, or probably a little less than a pound after it's cooked, and I, what I did was I used some, um, some coconut oil, and I used about a, a, ta a good tablespoon of coconut oil, and then I seasoned it with uh, the the okra. This is okra, by the way. <laughs> I didn't mention it. And I seasoned it with, I did a mixture of salt, pepper, uh, garlic, and onion powder. And I just kind of mixed it up. And that's the basis of my of my seasoning when I cook. And uh, what I did was I put it on high heat. I cut them up. I rinsed them, of course, at first. And then I just stuck them on the skillet and I just fried them. So it was sauteed them. Not actually fried, but they're sauteed, so I'm going to heat them up again. Actually, I don't need to heat them up. But that, why did I use coconut oil? Because I like the coconut oil because it kind of gives it a little sweetened, a, a sweetened flavor. Besides, my doctor said it was better for you. Um, and there's a, that's a controversy because a lot of people say that, oh, well, um, my doctor says it's an extra virgin olive oil. I guess if your doctor is um, from the Asian descent, would tell you that um, coconut oil is better, and if your doctor is from European descent, he'll tell you that um, um, olive oils are better for you. But other, other than that, I just love the flavor, and um, I think it gives it a, like a sweetness, and it brings a little bit of sweetness into my food, and so I cook a lot with the, um, with the coconut oil, believe it or not. And I, I use the canola, and I use the extra and the extra virgin olive oil and and it depends on where you get your olive oils too there's different regions so there's different flavors and whatever your palate you know enjoys so anyways let's just get going here and i have my pot it's a good sized pot and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit of my um actually with this one i'm gonna yeah I, since i have that already with the um with the uh, uh, the coconut oil is already in my okra. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it up and stir it up a little bit. I'm gonna use um, some some of this um, extra virgin olive oil, which is from uh, from California, of course. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use I'm gonna mix it up with a little bit of uh, the um, uh, canola oil, and that's about a good table, a couple of tablespoons that I poured in there. Yeah, it's about two tablespoons. And then, okay, and so that's half and half. And what I have here is about a good cup, I'd say this is about a cup of onions, a whole onion, and it's just um, small dice. Well, I'd say a medium dice. That's a medium dice. I'm gonna stick that in there, about a cup. And then I'm gonna put some yellow bell peppers, and they're kind of sweet, and they're still in season. If you can get them organic, oh my God, 
They're so delicious. I just love them. I love. I can eat them raw. Okay, <laughs> right here. I'm gonna put that, and that's about a good cup. And, and then it's about a cup dice of um, the celery. And I've got that at a medium, and they're all the same consistency. The the same amount of, of the dicing is a pretty much the same. And then I have these beautiful um, carrots. Um, no, you can use any kind of carrot. But sorry, I'm talking to a mouthful. Huh? <laughs> sorry, but that's about a cup also. Mm -hmm. Um. Of course, if you're cooking professionally, I wouldn't be, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna saute that. Okay, beautiful. I want to put okra in this. Saute that nice and beautiful. I mean, nice and kind of wet that bit. And I have um. I have some peppers that I found at the um, at a local um, store that I, I like. I always find some good deals. And um, these are um, Italian peppers. I got a variety of Anaheim peppers, Italian. And I roasted them and they're pretty much sweat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse them out. And discard all the dark skin. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm going to discard all the dark skin. Oh, this is nice. This is going to be really, really nice because I'm going to have flavors of peppers, veggies, lentils, um, chickpeas, and it'll take too long to cook. Put that in the um I'm gonna put that in a uh, in a bowl. I'm not gonna run my water since we're having a drought. And then having a drought in California, so can't use uh, we have to be very sparingly. When you start getting notices, it's serious. Anyway, it's kind of sad too. We're hoping. If Florida can send us some rain, and if Washington can send us some rain, that would be great. Otherwise, we have to leave California. <laughs> Not good when you have a drought. Anyways. Okay, I'm going to let that soak for a while. I'm going to come back to it and check on my... um. On my little veggies here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little my seasoning. Just a little bit. My dietitian said I needed to cut back on my salt. <laughs> my dietitian that that's my oh uh, my trainer at um, my fitness place um which comes with the um the cut back on your salt Mary. I really needed to do that. You get to have somebody in there you now people who are really good at giving you advice it's time to listen. Doctors and people at the gym that are looking for your best interests. And not everybody at the gym knows what the heck they're talking about. But I know she's a healthy guru lady and... Anyway. So I have that. And that's pretty much, um... Let me show it to you. Oh, let me show it to you real quick. That's a beautiful color. Snap. I don't know if you can see that. I'm very good at that. Then I'm gonna put my um, my lentils. Yeah, I'm gonna put my lentils in there. I have about I would say about a couple of cups in there because I want this to last a week. And then this is about a couple of cups of the uh, my chickpea. Okay. 
and I'm going to cover it up. Stir that up a little bit. And then that get a good heat in there. And you can use any kind of lentils, okay? There are red lentils, there are green lentils, there are French lentils. Yeah, I found some French lentils and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? French lentils? Ah, that's crazy. And then I I use I usually um put my veggies in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I usually um, will put my, <coughs> excuse me, mm. my veggies according to um, what needs to cook longer, like my chickpeas and my lentils, of course. The beans, they take a little bit longer if you're going to put some beans in there. The beans will take a little bit longer to cook, and you can actually cook them in advance and then put it in the uh, vegetable soup after it's done. And, um, but I don't have my chickpeas and I don't have my um, lentils cooked. So um, I want to make sure that they're going to get um, cooked without losing all the flavors of my veggies. Now, like I said, you can do it separately or you can, or you can do it with, um, with the vegetables. And I think either way, if you like that al dente, you know, like you like to bite into it, then that I would suggest this way um, to put them in with your veggies. Or if you like the nice tender, then I would cook them in advance. So, anyways, I have I have a about um, a whole thing of chard. This is chard, and what I did was I chiffonade it, and well, after I rinsed it, of course, chiffonade dried it out, and then chiffonade it, and then chopped it into a, a small, small pieces. Because I don't like that strong, stringy, icky. And I have about a couple of cups that I'm gonna use of the crushed tomatoes. And those are canned tomatoes. Be very particular where you're gonna get your canned tomatoes. I would. Um, and then I have um, this beautiful cabbage. I had some, um, I'll tell you, if you have a whole bunch of veggie, vegetables in your fridge, I like going to the farmer's market. <laughs> And I just like getting stuff because it looks so pretty. I'm a shopper of vegetables and food before I am a shopper of makeup. I'm sorry, that's just me. And that's just me. I, I just like going to the farmer's market. And my mom used to like going there. I said, oh no, thanks mom. Give me your, um, your jean. <laughs> so, oh, and I love cabbage. I don't know this is gonna go in there. Oops. And that'll probably go next. I'm gonna put this aside. That'll go next. And then these are my spices. Oh, and I have some green beans. I'm gonna put the green beans in there. And then I'm gonna put, of course, I'm gonna put my mushrooms. These are cremini mushrooms. I'm gonna dice them up. And I actually could fry them before I put them in. I like to saute them, not fry them, excuse me saute before I put them in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take out these and then saute them before I actually put them in there. Well, I kind of wanted to saute them. <laughs> so you can see. But it's pretty much the same consistency of the okra. Mm -hmm. It's okay to taste. Mm. 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 You know, and since I'm cooking in the privacy of my own kitchen, if you're in a professional kitchen, of course, you're going to use a, a fresh um, a fresh skillet. But since I am cooking in the privacy of my own kitchen, I don't see anything wrong with using a skillet and not having to rinse it out. I usually rinse it out. Um, I usually rinse it out after each use, but that's gonna give it like that meat, meat flavor, the, the chickpeas and the lentils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's gonna be beautiful. And, and so, 
while that's heating up, I'm gonna put in a little bit more coconut oil on this one, because I, I want a little bit more sweet coconut oil. And that's about a good tablespoon. Up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Move some stuff around. I was sending you pictures earlier. <laughs> I was having fun with the camera. So there's my little, I'm gonna give you a little story about my pro cook. I had a I had a business. And it was a catering business. And it was, um, I, I had it for almost 20 years. I think I told you that before. And I got, uh, my father had given me a car and um, because he had gotten a new car and I had a van and I had passed it down to my daughter because she needed it. But I bought this for my car and my dad told me not to put it on. But I did put it on and um, I ended up trading my car in for um, a Jeep, which um, I probably wish I could, wouldn't have never have done, but um, I needed a car that was extremely reliable. And um, my Jeep has been really, I've always wanted to have a Jeep, and my Jeep has been really, um, really good to me. So um, I'm really grateful for that. So, anyway, long story short, I'm going to put in my mushrooms. And I share stories like that, if that's okay with you. A lot of people, you know, they ask me, I see that little photo cut satin you have over there. What did you, why did you get that? Or, oh, or, or some people will say, oh, you have a pro cut sign. <laughs> I like having fun. So I, I figure... Hey, someone told me, if you've done something for over 10 years, you become a professional. So, I'm a pro cook, because I've been cooking since I was 12. Oops. Well, I'm going that. <laughs> that was both. So, I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning in there. Oh, the smell. You know, and mushrooms kind of give that flavor of a meat. It's a meaty, meaty flavor. And, you, and, and I, I have, these are carminis. Uh, the actual portobello mushrooms, I don't know. I don't know about that. I was trying it with that. I could use this portobello mushroom like a burger or something like I really want to eat a really good vegetarian meal. There we go. And I just want to saute that slightly. Oh, those are so good. <laughs> Sometimes I just like, I like creminis with some tomato and some basil with some pasta and that's a meal for me. Oops, that flew. Okay, so now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try it because I want to see if it's kind of getting tender, you know, my um, my lentil and my chickpea. It's starting to get a little soft, and you can soak them too. You can soak them for hours. I didn't soak them that long. Mm. It's gonna take a while. So, but I like the flavor. Oh my goodness. The flavor is starting to soften. A little bit more. And you know when you buy the packaged stuff, when you get that craving to buy chips, it has like three or four times more the salt that we put when we're cooking. So this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful um, vegetable soup. A vegetarian soup. I should call it a vegetarian because it has the lentil, uh, the goop. It has lentils in there, and it has um, the chickpeas, which is going to make it fast, fantastic. Now I have. Um, I'm going to put my seasonings in there last. 
and of course my peppers. And that's still kind of cooking there. Now I want to show you how to do this um, potato real quick. If you do, let me get a bowl. <laughs> get a bowl real quick. Where's the bowl? I need a bowl. Okay. Okay. Get this out. Who does that? Who videotapes their own, their own little um, cooking channel? I do. Because <laughs> I like to. <laughs> well, besides that, something for me to do and kind of share. So, anyways, here I got. I'm going to rinse out my potato. I'm going to rinse it off. Actually, I'm going to scrub it with my little scrubby, my scrubby dubby. My little scrubby dubby. Okay. Scrub that potato. And you know, in our in our class, in our culinary, in my in my my cooking class, actually my my knife skills class, <coughs> we didn't peel, we didn't have to um, peel our potatoes. That's kind of old fashioned when you peel your potatoes, right? But um, I learned how to peel from my chef. And hi Chef John. <laughs> and so I kind of peel that way. And you can kind of peel. Isn't that cool? I learned this in my class. I never knew that. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of getting some um, spicy in my little things in my And you just kind of go back and forth on there. I know I'm making a mess. I kind of want to show you what that was like. Put this over here. Yeah, I feel like I have it together here. <laughs> really. Oh, look at these beautiful herbs I got. Oh, I got these wonderful. This is sage. I think that's purple sage. Yeah, it's regular sage. I love sage. I got it all in my nose. Okay, I'll rinse it all. Okay. Anyways. Oh, just, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, so you see, I have a habit of still doing it that way, but you just kind of go back and forth, and then you kind of scoop that up, get rid of it, right? Of course you do. Unless you want to eat it, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of careful, I'm kind of meticulous where I, you know, with my potatoes and if you're not sure of your um, of your um, your bender, I would wash. I would wash it. And nowadays, our stuff comes from all over, so I just I don't know. I just kind of get really funny about stuff like that. So let me borrow this chopping board real quick. I used that earlier. earlier for my green stuff. And, um, oh, let's take this out. I'm going to put that in a bowl only because I don't want it to get kind of wilty, which it only is because um, I simply forgot about it. But that's okay. It's going to go in the soup anyways, right? Here you go. Um, this video clip with um, with your kids. If you want them to learn how to cook, I'm here. Since I have kids all over the world, I mean all over, ooh, all over the United States. They, yeah, I don't wear pants that you can fall on, right? So, anyway, since I have kids all over, it's kind of hard to cook for everybody. So, I figure, let me do this. So. They can share with their kids, my grandkids, and hopefully, you know, they can see grandma. Hi, you guys. Miss you guys so much. Miss all of you. Miss all my grandchildren. So, um, let's check that again. And then what I'm going to do, um, I hear that sizzle. That means it's drying up. And 
means all those little lentils, they kind of sucked up all the juices in there. So I have some low sodium organic vegetable broth. And this is about a 32 ounce that I'm going to end up using. Plus I'm going to use some water with that. So I'm going to put that in there. And while that is, I need some more. I want to show you this real quick. Oops, getting somewhere. So how's that little all done, okay? But usually you don't have to peel the potato. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice it. We got time for this too. And just kind of make it into a square. Some of you already know this. Ah, just you, Marie, right? And then, see, it's a nice square. It's not perfect, but you kind of get the idea. And we were timed about, so we had to make them perfect. And we had to make them exactly even, and, or we didn't pass. And we had to do it at a certain time. But the main thing is to get them uniform, get them even. Now I remember I used to go like that, Major. <laughs> Cause I was so nervous. I was so freaking nervous in that class. <laughs> Anyways, but that's pretty much, that's pretty good right there. You see, you have these nice little square potatoes, potatoes. I love it. And then the ends, of course, we had to discard them. We can make um, mashed potatoes out of them, but if you're in like in a professional environment, I'm sure all of them, they want them to be uniformly, but like I am in the privacy of my own home, I'm going to just cut them up and just stick them in there with the rest. Because I'm getting ready to put the potatoes, because potatoes are going to be the ones um, that cook a little bit longer than the rest of my food, right? Get some water. 